okay. Welcome to Ranger Reviews, a web series where we look at episodes of the TV show Power Rangers and then discuss them. Today, we're exploring the 31st episode of the show Power Rangers Zeo, as well as the 186th episode overall titled Rockabye Power Rangers. We begin this episode out in the forest where the rangers are rolling on the ground, surrounded by cogs. Also, there's literally no dialogue from the rangers for some reason. Then the gold ranger shows up, sealing the show by saving the rangers once again. They thank him, but he disappears, and Cat mentions how it's been two weeks of cogs attacking them over and over again, and then just disappearing. They're pretty much exhausted. Mondo then sees this, saying that his plan is going perfectly to tire out the rangers. Then at the youth center, Rocky, Adam, and Tanya are studying, but Adam has passed out on the table. Billy then shows up, and apparently he hasn't been around a lot lately, according to Tanya. He claims that he's been working on something. Plot twist, we'll never know what the hell he's working on. But there are some suggestions in the fandom. Then Rocky asks him if it's anything interesting, and Billy just says, I have to go. Bye. Leaving. Also, Bulk and Skull are at the detective agency with Stone, and they're guarding someone safe, and of course, there's a burglar just standing outside listening. <laughs> what the hell? Then can Orbis wake up Mondo and crew, letting them know that they've built a new monster. Somnibot. Their plan is to send her down to Lil Angel Grove into a night's nice sleep. Then we see Somnibot is in the quadrifighter with a cog and she starts practicing her singing, but then she ends up having to wake up the cog because he starts to fall asleep. Then Somnibot lands in the park, putting a bunch of people to sleep. Anyways, Tommy has just finished teaching a class and his communicator goes off. Then Kat's communicator goes off in the study area. Aki's goes off as he's struggling to stay awake by a tree. Lastly, Tanya and Adam's communicators go off at the youth center. All five arrive at the power chamber and they find out about Somnibot. They have to alter her frequency in order to stop her. Meanwhile, Bulk and Skull are still guarding the safe when someone knocks on the door. It's a locksmith who's there to make sure the safe is working properly. He says that Son set this all up and he's going to have to take it because something is like super wrong with it. He has to take it to the shop for 20 minutes and he wheels it out. Skull then says it's a good thing that he showed up. Then the phone rings and Bulk answers letting him know about the locksmith and then they realize they've been duped. Then Alpha almost has everything under control, but he actually needs Billy's help, which luckily Billy shows up, and apparently he's made it so that the spell of the Somnibot cannot affect the rangers when they're morphed now. It's morphin' time. The rangers show up fighting off cogs in a river, which is a cool shot. It's even cooler when they start having to actually jump into it. Then Somnibot starts singing them all to sleep, and um, it's definitely affecting the rangers, despite what was just said. Tommy says that it's more powerful than they thought, and Alpha is struggling to help them. Billy says he's gonna go try something and he leaves. Then, the Gold Ranger shows up, kicking Clank and Orbis down. Then, Somnibot starts firing at him and he fires at her, just completely dismantling her. Jesus Christ. Then, Mondo sees what happened and he demands that Clank and Orbis reassemble Somnibot and boost her power. The Rangers are in the power chamber and they talk about how they're glad that the Gold Ranger showed up. Then, Billy comes back in and talking about how he had such a great idea, but by the time he figured it out, the Rangers were fine. Also, the new and improved Somnibot is already on Earth, ready to go. Bulk and Skull then see the thief, catching him just as he was putting the safe into the back of the truck. Then Somnibot shows up, causing Skull and the thief to fall asleep, followed by Bulk. Clank then says that they'll have the truck for a mobile power vehicle. The alarms then go off and they see what's going on. They decide to take out the Zeo jet cycles. Back to action. The rangers drive around, finding the truck. Adam and Rocky go first, opening the back of the truck, which causes a tiny explosion around them, and then Somnibot comes out and she's hooked up to a bunch of tubes and wires in the bed of the truck. She then starts singing to them, affecting them a lot more than before. In the power chamber, Alpha reiterates how everything is going to crap now, and Billy says that they just need to isolate a line and send a power surge through it. Then Alpha looks away, and then he looks back, and Billy is gone. My god, we get it, guys. Then the Gold Ranger shows up, but Somnibot just starts singing to him now, too. We then see the power surge traveling, and it hits them, terminating Somnibot's frequency. The Rangers then charge forward, taking out a bunch of cogs. And the Gold Ranger just blows up everything all over again. I mean, we get it, guys. The Gold Ranger's kind of overpowered here. Clank and Orbis make Somnibot grow giant, so the Rangers call out their Zeozords and the Red Battlezord, forming the Zeomegazord. The two giant robots then take on giant Somnibot, and then the Gold Ranger calls out Pyramidus, and they form the Zeo Ultrazord. Man, this season got super formulaic real fast. They blow up Somnibot, and we get the scale difference here between the monster and the Ultrazord, and it's absolutely ridiculous, by the way. We then see Machina struggling to wake up Mondo. Yep. Anyways, Bulk and Skull get the safe back into the office just fine, just as Stone and their client show up. Their client is impressed, and she says that she wants to share her most prized possession with them. And it's freaking egg salad recipe cards. The safe also doubles as a refrigerator, and she gives them some sandwiches. At the power chamber, everyone talks about how great it was to be able to get to sleep last night. Then they ask Billy what's going on, and Rocky says Billy is the Gold Ranger because it makes the most sense. 
Billy shakes his head, and then they all look at him, very stern, most of all Tanya. They're very confused at the end of it all. The end. This episode made me want a damn nap so badly. This was my biggest takeaway from it. I literally could not stop yawning throughout the entire episode because I was so damn tired just watching it. Other than that, they're really dragging out this whole Gold Ranger thing, and honestly, I'm so over it. The dude showed up like five episodes ago. Just tell us, just tell us who the hell he is and get on with it. I mean, I appreciate the effort, but man, this is getting boring. So will next time give us any insight into who exactly the Gold Ranger is? Find out then, but until then, may the power protect you.